everybody, welcome to Franny's Square. Today I have 14 Aesthetica wigs for you in different styles and different colors, so stay tuned. Okay, if you saw my last video, you know I bought a ton of Caramel Kiss for whatever reason. So today there's no Caramel Kiss in the colors, but there are 14 other colors for you to look at. And remember, what you're really looking at here are different styles and different colors, and you don't actually have to think of the combo of the wig and the color I have for you. You might say, this color works for me and that wig works for me, and look and see if that wig comes in the color you like. I'm gonna to try to do a pretty in-depth review. I'm gonna show you the cap, the features, the measurements, I'll put on the glasses, I'll take it outside to show you the color outside. So this will probably be a pretty lengthy video, so grab a cup of whatever you enjoy and have a seat and relax. Before I get started, I wanted to mention that Sharon Densmore said to me about the last video, why didn't you tell us the prices? And I hadn't thought of it. So I'm gonna be telling you the prices. Just keep in mind that those prices are as of the filming of this video and they are subject to change. And speaking of prices, I have a promo code for you for watching this video. It's Aesthetica30 and it'll give you 30% off of your Aesthetica wig purchase. And you can use that over at my website, franniesair.com. Also, Patricia reached out to me and she said, you know, your lighting's not so great. And I know my lighting's not so great. I cannot tell you how many times I've tried to change it up and get it right. I'm just not good at it. You can't see, but I have a lot of lights here. I have LED panels, I have boom lights, I have umbrella stands, all kinds of stuff. If you know anything about lighting, please send me some tips. I could use them. Lighting is not my forte. And uh, let me know if the lighting's okay for you. I'm trying to give you the best possible picture of the wigs, and that's why I film it in here, and then I also take them outside so that you can get a more accurate picture of what you're looking at. Okay, so today I'm gonna to start with this wig. This is Merit, and I first saw Merit in the one-of-a-kind wigs that I had gotten, and I fell in love with her. So I actually went out and bought her for myself and that is this wig. I've been wearing her. She's so light and comfortable and just a easy style. I really like her. She's in the color R826H, which is described as a medium golden brown with golden blonde highlights. You can see that here. She has a lace front and a full mono top, so you can part her anywhere. Just like most of my videos, I'm going to start with the wigs with the most features and then I'll move toward the basic caps. So they'll start out with the more expensive wigs and then get down to the less expensive wigs. Speaking of price, Merit is regularly $423.96. I sell her for $382 on my website. If you use the promo code and get 30% off, she will be $267.40. Let me spin for you and show you what she looks like. Really cute. Now let's talk about her measurements. Her bangs are 8.75 inches, which is probably accurate since I'm eight and a half inches from my forehead to my chin. Her sides are 6.25 inches. The crown is 10 and a half inches and the nape is 4.25 inches and she weighs 3.5 ounces. Now let me try her on with the glasses. So underneath the ear tabs, I definitely feel the glasses. And I think over a full day of wearing this, it would bother me. Over the ear tabs, no problem whatsoever. This is how I would wear them. Okay, let's take her outside. Okay, so here's the color. I hope you can see that it's a golden brown with golden blonde highlights. So 
so pretty. <laughs> I currently have her adjusted so that she has one adjustment on each side to go wider and three to go tighter. She's fitting me perfectly. I have a 21 and a half inch circumference. Now the pure stretch caps, which are your basic caps, are going to have the most stretch. And the more features you have, the less stretch you're going to have because that monofilament top and the lace front don't stretch. The open wefting does stretch. Okay, let's take a look at the cap. All right, so you can see here the open wefting is the part that stretches, but this part does not. You have a full monofilament top, lace front, the open wefting, open ear tabs, and the regular nape with the bra strap closures. All right, let's go on to the next. And if you're wondering why I have my hair sticking out here, whenever my hair in color and length matches the wig, I leave the sides out because I think it looks more natural. Then if you're looking at me from the side, it looks like my hair is coming out of my head, which it is, of course. So it just makes the wig look more realistic. So that's why I do that. All right, on to the next. Okay, this next one is Haven, also with a full mono top and lace front. Let me show you the lace front. And the mono top. So you can part her anywhere. If you're in our private Facebook group, you've seen me with Haven. I posted a picture of her. I wore her to take my grandsons out for ice cream the other day. And by the way, if you're not part of our private Facebook group, Franny's Hair, come on over and join us. We have a great time. We're posting pictures, asking questions, getting advice, and just basically supporting each other on our wig journeys. And we just have a great, great group of people over there. So come join us. All right, so Haven, you can see she has these beautiful waves and she's shorter in the back. She's one of the newer styles and a little bit longer in the front. This color is R302826, which is described as a medium auburn, light auburn, and then golden blonde highlights. So you can see that here, such a pretty color. I first saw this color, I think it was in the one-of-a-kind wigs on Stunning. I don't know if you guys remember that wig. Beautiful. I loved the color, and I knew I had to get a wig in that color. All right, let me spin for you. And... She sells normally for $427.96. I sell her for $385. If you use your 30% discount, she will be $269.50. Okay, so let's take a look at her measurements. Her bang is 10 and a half inches. Her side, 6.25 inches. The crown, 11 inches. The nape, 3.5 inches. And the weight is 3.4 ounces. I just love the waves and the way this swings. All right, let's try the glasses on. Underneath, I would definitely feel that. That's underneath the ear tabs. Over the ear tabs, no problem whatsoever. I feel like I'm always saying the same thing. Most glasses do not fit under the ear tabs comfortably for me unless the ear tab is shorter and I can actually fit the glasses underneath that ear tab. Otherwise, I like it over the ear tab. And I know some people said to me that when they put it over the ear tab, it changes the angle of their glasses. It doesn't for me. And I don't know if that has to do with how wide my head is or... You know, there's so many variations. I'm just trying to give you as much information as I can. Okay, let's take her outside. Okay, so here's the color R302826 outside. You can see the medium and light auburn and the golden blonde highlights. Such a pretty color. It's funny, I have some guys here doing some painting and every time I pass them to take a wig outside, I'm wearing different hair and they're kind of like, <laughs> I finally told them that I wear wigs. Okay, so let's take a look at her cap. I 
Okay, so she has the full mono top, the extended lace front, open ear tabs, open wefting, open extended nape, and the bra strap closures. I have her fitting just fine, and she, again, has one adjustment on either side to go bigger and three adjustments to go tighter. Okay, on to the next. Okay, for you platinum ashy girls, this is a nice color for you. This is called Silver Sun Rooted 8. You can see the darker rooting there. And this is Sutton. She has a full mono top, a lace front. See if you can see there, lace front's done really well. Oh, that reminds me. When I was putting her on, you know how I love the metal stays in the Aesthetica wigs. And I was just thinking, oh, these are so nice. It reminded me, I forgot to tell you, in Haven, for whatever reason, she doesn't have these. They're shorter metal stays. So I just thought I'd mention it because I like to tell you everything. Okay, so you can see Sutton is long, and I'll give you her measurements. And she has these razor cut edges. She's very straight with the razor cut edges. And I wanted to say something about the razor cut edges. I know um, I sent out a wig with a razor cut edge and the person thought that they were split ends or dry. They do look, you know, not nice and even. So if you're getting a razor cut edge, just know that that's what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna spin for you and then I'll give you the measurements. And I still have the tag on this little lady because she's probably going to be in the open box reviewed wigs uh, simply because I don't normally wear this color, but I do love this wig. I like the style, the straight, sleek. Okay, so her bang is 13 inches. Her sides, nine and a half inches. Her crown, 14 inches. And her nape is seven and a half inches. So she's long. And she weighs 4.44 ounces. Okay, let's try her on with the glasses. Under the ear tabs. I would probably feel her. Over the ear tabs. <laughs> It's hard to do without catching your hair in it. Over the ear tabs, totally fine. And I would put, with her, you could definitely put her behind your ear, pull it back. I didn't really do styling in this video because it would just take that much longer. But you get the picture. How cute would that be? Or even putting her up. I really like this style. Every time I do this, I think, oh, I like this style. I got to get it in a color I would wear. All right, so let's take her outside. Okay, so here you can see the silver sun with the rooting of eight. The rooting doesn't look as dark out in, outside as it does in the lights in the studio. Okay, so let's look at her cap. Okay, so here you go. You have the full mono top, the extended lace from ear tab to ear tab, the regular material ear tab with the nice metal stays, the open extended nape, bra strap closures, and open wefting. Okay, on to the next. Okay, before we get to this one, I forgot to tell you a few things about her. The description of the color, which is Silver Sun RT8, is iced blonde dusted with soft sand and golden brown roots. And you saw when it was outside that the roots actually show up lighter outside than they do in here, but you can definitely see the highlights in there of the different colors, it's really beautiful. Also, she fit me fairly loosely, so there's definitely room in Sutton. All right, now on to this one. This is Monica. And Monica is in R20, RT8. And R20, RT8 is described as light auburn, golden blonde frost with golden brown roots. So you can see the roots and the light auburn in there. I think you'll probably see even more outside. And the golden blonde, really nice. 
And this style is like a shaggy style. It reminds me of the razor cut shag in Tressalor. So I really like this. And I'd probably wear it behind my ears. <laughs> no surprise there. All right, so Monica, her measurements are six and a half inches at the bang. You can see that there. The side, six and a half inches. The crown, seven inches. The nape, 5.5 inches. And the weight is 3.07 ounces. And she has a lace front, beautifully done, and a lace part. So now we've moved away from the full mono parts and we're moving into the lace front, lace part section of this. Really nice, cute style. All right, I'm going to spin for you. Get it out from behind my ear there. Really cute. All right, let's try the glasses on with her. Definitely snug underneath the ear tabs and no issue over the ear tabs. Okay, let's take her outside. Okay, here we are. R20, RT8. Got the little flip at the end there. Nice movement. Okay, and Monica normally sells for $267.96. You can see the price has come down because we don't have the full mono top. I normally sell her for $241.16. With the 30% off, she'd be $168.81. All right, let's take a look at her cap. Okay, so now that we've moved away from the full mono tops, you will see some permatees, and I'm going to show you the part on the outside of the cap also, so you can look and see if you can see the permatees. You have your lace front, lace part, open wefting, oops, regular ear tabs with the nice metal stays, the extended nape open, and bra strap closures, and I felt... I had room in her as well. And there's room to adjust her even wider. Even wider. And narrower. And tighter. So I think she probably could go for a larger head. Okay, so let's look at the permatees. Can't even see it. Beautifully done. And that's what gives it the shape. Okay, on to the next. Okay, this next one is Avalon in Iced Mocha. I love these coffee-inspired colors. So this one is, as I said, Iced Mocha. She's described as light chestnut brown base with light brown, ash blonde, golden blonde painted highlights. So you got ashiness in there, you can see, and some golden in there. So I think this color could probably work well for a lot of people. And you see here the beautiful curls. Let me spin for you and then we'll do measurements. And she also is a lace front, lace part. I always wanted natural hair like this. really pretty. Okay, so Avalon in the coffee-inspired colors is about $20 more expensive than in the regular colors. So in Iced Mocha, she's $331.96 normally. I sell her for $299, and with the 30% off, she would be $209.30. Now let's talk measurements. Her bang is 10 and a half inches. Her side, also 10 and a half inches. The crown, 12 and a half inches. And the nape, 9 and a half inches. 
and she weighs 4.48 ounces. Let's try the glasses. She's fitting me more snug than the others. And this is right out of the box, so I'm guessing the uh, adjusters are in the same place. We'll take a look when we look at the cap, but she does feel more snug than the last two. Okay, so with the glasses underneath, I can feel it definitely. The glasses over top of the ear tabs, totally fine. No issue whatsoever. All right, let's take her outside. Yeah, so outside, it definitely looks more chestnutty than it did in the lighting in the studio. And you can see how it gets gold at the tips. I love how the coffee-inspired colors are done like that. And there's some ash in it as well. Now, a lot of these right out of the box, you can see they fall in your face. So you'd probably have to train it a little bit. That's definitely true of the Sutton. And you could probably style her the same way. <laughs> Many different ways too, but pull it back with the curls. That would be so pretty. Or even up. You guys know my styling ability. Ooh, a ponytail could be really pretty too. My styling ability lacks severely. That could be really pretty. Okay. Let's take a look at her cap. So she has the front lace, the lace part, some permatees here, which we'll take a look at, open wefting, your regular ear tabs with the nice metal stays, the open extended nape, and the bra strap closures. And you can see there's room for adjusting a little bit bigger. Looks like one adjustment on each side, bigger or two on this side. And then um, you can also make her tighter. So there is some room, but she did fit me more snugly than the others. How pretty is she? And the permatease, undetectable. Love it. Okay, on to the next. Okay, I got a request to show this exact wig in this color. This is Finn in Sunlit Blonde, and Sunlit Blonde is described as soft blend of sandy blonde, lightest blonde, and iced blonde with a light golden brown root. So you see there, it does go icy and cooler in tone, but it does also have that gold. So again, it could probably fit a wider range of people color-wise. Wow, look at these curls. <laughs> okay, so Finn normally sells for $279.96. I sell her for $251.96. With the 30% off, she would be $176.37. She has a lace front. And her lace front, she doesn't have a par, uh, lace part, but her lace front goes further back. And you'll see that when you see the cap, so that it can give the illusion of part up front. And because you have the rooting, you don't notice that it's not a lace part. All right, let me spin for you. Woo. <laughs> I don't know why I find curls so much fun. I guess maybe because I never had them. Because my sisters who have curls say it's such a pain sometimes. But I always wanted them. All right, so let's look at her measurements. Her bang is eight and a half inches. That's, yeah. The length of my face, the side nine inches, the crown nine inches, and the nape also nine inches. And she weighs 4.62 ounces. And her cap is fitting me just right. And this is right out of the box again. So I don't know how large she goes. She does have more open wefting because she doesn't have any lace part or mono top. So she may stretch a little bit more. Okay, under the ear tabs, I can feel. And over the ear tabs, not a problem at all. And she does have the nice metal stays. All right, let's take this color outside. I can't wait to see this in the sun. Okay, here we go, sunlit blonde. 
You can definitely see the iciness in this color. This is for you ladies who really like a light blonde, almost a white blonde. Okay, let's take a look at our cap. So you can see here the lace front, and like I said, it goes further back, so you can have the illusion of part that far back. Open ear tabs, nice metal stays, open wefting, open extended nape, and bra strap closures, and you definitely have some stretch in there. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay, we're moving into the pure stretch caps now. So these will have the most amount of stretch and they will also be your most affordable wigs. This is Renee in the color 4-6 and 4-6 is described as dark brown, chestnut brown blend. So it's a dark color. I don't know if you can see the difference in the browns there or not. We'll probably see it better outside. This reminds me of a Sharon Osbourne type cut. Um, I would probably wear her behind my ears a little bit, something like that. That would be cute. And since she doesn't have a lace front, it's nice that you have this little bit of bang here that hangs down. It doesn't show the harsh line there. Let me spin for you and then we'll do her measurements. When I turn, I have a mirror right there and I see hair sticking up all over the place from me messing with it. Okay, let's look at her measurements. Her bang is five inches. Her side, 5.75 inches. The crown, six inches. The nape, four inches. And she weighs 2.75 ounces. So she's a lighter wig, be good for the summer. Um, she goes normally for $159.96. On my site, she's $143.96, and with the 30% off, she'd be $100.77. All right, let's try her with the glasses. Hmm, I might even be able to wear her under the ear tabs here. The other ear tabs seem to come down farther, but this ends right where the glasses start so and then there's no need to put them over the ear tabs because it still goes underneath so glasses no problem with this wig all right let's take her outside okay so out here i think you can see that it's a dark brown chestnut brown blend might actually be easier to see the style out here as well. Really cute. Okay, let's take a look at her cap. You can see here just a basic cap, probably a little permatease right at the top. Open ear tabs with the nice metal stays. Are these as long? Yeah, I think they are. Open wefting, open extended nape, bra strap closures, and a lot of stretch in this. Okay, let's look at the permatease. Here we go at the top. I think you could probably see a little bit there. That's about it. All right, on to the next. Okay, this is Karina, and she's in the color RT61327, and that's described as a light auburn tipped with pale blonde. So I could see the light auburn when I was putting this on, and you'll probably see it better outside. Really cute style. If I were going to go short, this would be my style. I really like the shape of this. Okay, I am going to spin for you, and then we'll talk measurements. Oh, let me take it out from behind my ear so you can see that.
Okay, and I would probably wear her behind my ears. I just think that is adorable. Okay, Karina normally sells for $171.96. I sell her for $154.76. And with 30% off, she'd be $108.33. Her measurements, her bang is 4.75 inches. The sides, 4.25 inches. The crown, 4.75 inches. The nape, 2.5 inches and she weighs 2.65 ounces, so nice and light for the summer. This is the throw on and go kind of style, really cute. Okay, let's take a look at the glasses. Again, I think they're fitting underneath the ear tabs. Let's take a look. Yeah, the ear tab's coming right, I don't know if you can see it, right to there. So it fits underneath, so no issue whatsoever with the glasses. All right, let's look at the color outside. Okay, so here you go. I think you can see the auburn and the pale blonde. Pretty. They have some really nice combinations of color at Aesthetica. Okay, let's look at our cap. Okay, here you go, basic cap. Maybe some permatees in here. All open wefting open ear tabs, open extended nape, bra strap closure, lots of stretch. Let's look at the permatease in the top. There you go. So you can see it. I think in these shorter styles you can see the permatease a little bit. It doesn't look real bad, but you can see it a little bit and I like to show you. Okay. On to the next. Okay, this next one is Devin, and she's in the color R812, which was also requested by someone. And R812 is described as golden brown, light brown blend. So I don't know if you can see that. She's a cute little bang and layers. Really like this. Let me spin for you. Take it out from behind my ears. <laughs> She has a fullness to her. All right, and her measurements, her bang is 3.5 inches. Her sides, 5.5 inches. Her crown, 5.25 inches and her nape three inches and she weighs 2.65 ounces now somebody asked me to mention whether or not a wig could have bangs cut into it and i imagine most wigs could you might have to train it if it's you know trained to go to one side and if you want bangs you might have to do something with a um you know, a styling wand or something like that. This obviously you wouldn't need bangs cut into it because it has bangs, but it just made me think of that. Um, I'm not a hairdresser, but I would think for most styles you could have, if it doesn't have a bang, you could have one cut into it. If you're a hairdresser out there, please let me know if there's something I'm missing about that. All right, I'm gonna try the glasses. Okay, I would definitely feel it under the tabs. Over the tabs, no issue whatsoever. Okay, so Devin is normally $187.96. I sell her for $169.16. And with the 30% off, she'd be $118.41. All right, let's take her outside. Okay, so here you can see this really pretty brunette. And it is a golden brown, you can see there, mixed with a lighter. All right, let's take a look at our cap. There you go, your basic cap, some permatees here, open wefting with a lot of stretch, open ear tabs, open extended nape, bra strap adjusters, and let's look at our permatees. 
There you go. She looks good. All right, on to the next. Okay, you know I like a style when I order more than one. This is Karina again, but this time she's in the color R33LF24, which is described as a dark auburn lightning to golden blonde mix in the front. So let's see if you can see. This is a really pretty color. I don't know how many of their wigs are offered in this color, but I like this color. Um, so again, Karina sells for $171.96. I sell her for $154.76, so she would be $108.33. And just a note, so like the front bang here, I'd probably have to work with a little bit uh, on this one for whatever reason. It's hanging a little bit more. So just know that when you get a wig, sometimes, even if you have the same wig, sometimes a particular wig will come and you'll need to train it a little bit or something like that. All right, I'm going to spin for you. I think one of the big secrets to wearing wigs is when you get them home, play with them like they're your own hair. Do what you would do to your normal hair. To the wig of course following the manufacturer's recommendations don't go using heat on something that is not heat friendly but you know for styling and all that do what you would normally do all right so her measurements again i know i told you before but i'll just tell you one more time uh, her bang 4.75 inches her side 4.25 inches her crown 4.75 inches and her nape two and a half inches and she weighs 2.65 ounces and I'm going to try on the glasses with her see if it varies from the other one I don't remember what I said with the other one I think the other one <laughs> this is so interesting I think the other one the glasses fit under the ear tab I can't remember but on this one they don't so you know there's slight variances in each wig that's what makes it so difficult to give you as much information as possible because you know, it's on the one I'm trying on, but I'm doing the best I can. All right, over the top, no issue whatsoever. Uh, yeah, her ear tabs come, let's take a look. Her ear tabs come down to the top of my ear there. So, all right, let's take a look at the color outside because this is one pretty color. Okay, so here's that color. I forget the numbers, R33LF. 24 something like that I will have put this put the color up uh, for you to see so you'll know what it is but look how pretty that is you can see all the different colors in there okay looking at our cap You can see here, basic cap, permatees, open wefting, open ear tabs, open extended nape with the bra strap closures. I didn't even have that one closed. Has stretch. And let's look at the permatees in the top here. There you go. You can probably see a little bit of it there. All right, on to the next. Okay, I did have some requests for some grays. So this is Rebecca in R51 LF60, and that's described as off black with 75% gray, lightning to white mix in the front. So you can definitely see the black in there. It's a pretty color. And it looks like it's darker in the back too. All right. Rebecca normally sells for $175.96. I sell her for $158.36. With the 30% off, she would be $110.85. All right, I'm going to spin for you, and then we'll do her measurements. I think this one would look nice on my mother for those of you who have seen her in one of my other videos. Um, let's look at her measurements. Just the style and everything. I'm going to have to have her try it on. <laughs> 
Okay. The bang is four inches. So it is longer, but it's curled there. And you could wear it as a bang too. That would look nice. Okay. The side, four inches. The crown is four inches. And the nape, four inches. <laughs> four inches everywhere. And she weighs 2.08 ounces. So let's try it with the glasses. Okay. Yeah. Um, under the tabs, I would feel her. Over the tabs, no problem. The tabs come down pretty far, I'll show you. Yeah, it comes right there. So you got good coverage. Comes down to the top of my ear there. And these are the really nice metal stays. Okay, so let's take her outside and look at the color. Okay, so here you go. You can see the color here. Okay, and let's take a look at her cap. There you go, basic cap, some permatees here. I have a feeling you're not going to really see the permatees with the curl. Open ear tabs, open extended nape, bra strap closures. Let's look at the permatees. Yeah. Um, you, you just, you can't see it because of all the curls. Very nice. All right, on to the next. Okay, this one is true in the color Honey Toast. And Honey Toast is described as a light brown with pale golden blonde highlights. So, hopefully you can see the light brown in there. She's a fuller style too. Again, I would probably go behind my ear with her, but really cute. All right, let me spin. I keep saying really cute, but I... These are really cute. <laughs> what else can I say? And great for summer. I got to start wearing shorter hair for summer because it's just so easy. Okay, so True normally sells for $195.96. I sell her for $176. So with the 30% off, she'd be $123.20. Let's try the glasses. Yeah, it goes under the ear tabs for me, meaning I would feel it. Over the ear tabs, no problem. When I said under the ear tabs, I meant the ear tabs came over top, so I would feel it. And I'll show you the ear tabs. They come all the way down to here, so you can see that there. And they have the nice metal stays in them. All right, let's take her outside. Okay, so here you can see the color. You can see some of the light brown in it there. All right, let's take a look at her cap. And we have the basic cap, permatease here, open wefting, plenty of stretch, open ear tabs, not an extended nape, and bra strap closures. Let's take a look at that permatease in the top there. I think you can see it a little bit. I don't think it looks bad, but you can see it. All right, we have two wigs left and they're both gray. I almost forgot to give you the measurements for true. Okay, her bangs, four inches. Her side, three and a half inches. The crown, five inches. The nape, two inches. And she weighs 2.68 ounces. Okay, when I said we had two grays left, I was wrong. This is actually Mandy in the color R17101, which is described as ash brown and platinum blonde blend. But you could definitely wear this if you were a brunette going gray, I think, because it does give that gray appearance. Mandy normally sells for $191.96. I sell her for $172.76. With 30% off, she would be $120.93. I'll spin for you. 
every time I pass my husband in anything that looks gray, he's like, yep, yeah, not yet. Not ready for you to be gray yet. <laughs> Cute style though. Okay, let me spin for you. I tried to get a lot of short styles with the heat and the summer. That way you could see them and decide if you wanted to get them for summer. All right, so let's look at her measurements. Her bang is three and a half inches, and you could wear it as a bang. You can see that there like that. Her sides, two and a half inches. Her crown, 5.5 inches. Her nape, 3.75 inches. And she weighs 2.47 ounces. And let's try the glasses on. Definitely feel it under the ear tabs. Over the ear tabs, no issue. And you can see here, let me show you the ear tabs. They give you nice coverage, and the hair is spliced in, which is nice, so it looks really natural over here. But the ear tab comes to here. Okay. Uh, let's take her outside. Okay, here you go. See the ash brown in there with the platinum blonde? To me, this really does give a gray appearance. You can let me know what you think. Okay, so let's take a look at her cap. Basic cap. Permatease of the part, I guess. Open ear tabs. Open extended nape. Bra strap closures. Lots of stretch. And here's the part. With all that curl, you really can't see anything. Pretty color. Okay, finishing off with one I really like. This is Brady. I love this short style. This would definitely be my style. This is in the color Chrome Rooted with a 1B. So that is gray and white with 25% medium brown blend and off black roots. So there you can see that. It's really pretty color. I think this is how I would ease into gray with a color like this. I really like this one. Okay, let's look at her measurements. Her bangs, four inches. And again, you could do bangs. You could even trim them if you want. That's really cute with the bang too. Uh, side, two inches. You can see they're shorter at the side here. The crown, five inches. And the nape, 1.5 inches. And she weighs 2.58 ounces. Now I'm going to spin for you. All right, and we'll try the glasses on with her. I would definitely have to wear the glasses over the ear tabs with her. Her ear tabs come down pretty far. Again, the hair is spliced in, so it's hard to see. I like that effect, though, but the ear tab comes down to here. Yeah, on both sides. All right, let's take her outside. Okay, here's the color. Chrome with the rooting of 1B. All right, let's take a look at her cap. There you go, basic cap. Looks like there may be some permatease right here. Uh, open ear tabs with the hair spliced in. Open extended nape, bra strap closure. Let's look at the permatease. Really well done, beautiful. Okay. Yeah, she's a cute one. Okay, so there you have it. 
14 Aesthetica wigs in different colors. Let me know if you have any questions at all about the wigs, about the colors, about anything. You can leave questions in the comments below this video. You can send an email to my email address at franniesair at gmail.com. I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Don't forget our private Facebook group, Franny's Hair. Come join us. We have a great time. And you can find all of these wigs in the description below and at my website, franniesair.com. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own, and I'll see you soon.